All right, you guys, so uh, today I'm going to do a little bit of a flash uh, session around uh, our building over here. I have three targets on the ground that I have actually scanned with the Orbis already. I have them uh, sitting where they are now. So uh, uh, this is where uh, I have some known coordinates on them for the scanner to actually inherit. it. Uh, I have my little handy dandy scanner uh, iPad that I always use. Let me see if it's connected to the scanner. It's already connected. Cool. So let's go into Ferro Stream. Let's make sure that we have a connection to a scanner. There we go. Connection to the scanner established. You can see that it's definitely established because uh, all of the icons are gone. Let's make a whole new project. Let's call it... Back building. Or this is a long name, but at least it's going to be something that I'll remember. Uh, let's do this. Let's do flash for the profile. Um, you don't want to, oh, it's too long a name for it to remember. All right, let's do flash for the profile. Let's take a photo of what we're actually doing. Let's go a little bit slightly back, but there we go. All right. Use this photo, use my current location, and we're good. Okay, so I can hit back, back, we have the right profile. Scanner is here, let me set it up. Uh, I want to capture this, the, the, the actual sphere, so I'm not going to be too far with it. You see it actually started drizzling a little bit, but I'm not that concerned about it because it's not supposed to be raining too much. Um, I don't want to be in the pictures, so I'm actually getting out of the way. Scanner is set up where I want it to be, so let's go hit play. There we go. Scanner is going to start its data acquisition here. Oh, and I guess I should point out it's, what, almost 2 o'clock here, so 158, I guess. So. We'll see how long this takes. So, scanner is now going. You can see on the iPad, we already have a bit of an outline of what we're doing. Scan is done. Okay. Let's pick up the scanner and get it a little bit closer to the spheres here so that we get those also. There we go. All right, well, this is the drawback of fast scanning. You gotta get out of the way quickly also. So, I'll just hide here for now. There we go. 28 seconds. And you can see it's filling in over here. All right, registration succeeded, apparently. And these targets again, I didn't have to do these targets, but I wanted them to coincide with the targets that I actually shot with the Orbis. Again, forgive me for the wind, like the weather I can't control yet. <laughs> All right, here we go. We'll just go here. And my goal is, Pretty much just go around this building and close the loop and not be in the scans so i am going to hide inside our warehouse again hit play with flash uh, what's interesting is the pictures are the first ones that are being taken so uh, that's why you have to get out of the way first and then during scanning you could kind of run with it but for the pictures, there's no way to outrun the pictures. All right. This is done. Registration again. Looks like it succeeded. I got a confirmation. Let's carry on. Uh, let's go here. At a diagonal, I like to go. 
uh, you don't have to be super level, but I mean, I do watch the bubble so that it's kind of in the area of, uh, you know, the actual circle. So it's okay. I try not to bisect the object of interest, hence I'm turning it and I'm just starting the scan uh, from an arbitrary position. And maybe here I can hide behind these pallets. There you go. scan is being conducted. Let's see if it'll go into the right spot. It did. That's awesome. That's what's cool about this. If, if the iPad or the stream app can handle this, then you know that your computer will definitely be able to handle this kind of data also. We'll go here. Again, maybe look at the... Oh, let's go actually adjust this well no the bubble's pretty good I I'm, I'm happy with that let's make sure that we're not bisecting the actual uh, uh, building hide here behind the downspout there we go Okay, four seconds. Let's see, went into the right spot, looks like it. So far, no no glitches, even though we have trees and obstacles. All right, pick up. We apparently have a helicopter flying above us here. I don't know, I'll just go here. Uh, the beauty of these 30 second scans is the fact that they're so fast that you can do more scanning than you would otherwise do gives you more detail but the drawback is will not reach out as far as you're used to so you've got to be a little bit uh, aware of the fact that it doesn't go as far as a regular scan would so like those buildings that are I don't know, a couple of hundred feet away might not be visible in the actual scan which traditionally you would easily be able to see because the scanners maybe 300 feet away but with flash, that might not be the case. All right, again, looks like registration worked. So let's do this uh, move. And I like to do this diagonal scan always, just so that I get the corner of the building. Check my bubble, still okay looking. Now I don't have a corner to hide, but I have a free to hide behind, so let's do this. Scanner and scanning. It's a lot of work because it's a lot of walking around and moving, especially if you don't want to be in the scans. Okay. Well, still able to figure it out, that's awesome. It's not always foolproof, this uh, app and the method of scanning. But if you don't do too large of uh, steps between your existing scans and the previous scan, or I guess or the previous scans, then even Stream is pretty good at figuring out where you have been. And registration then is a really... Oh, maybe. Which leg is the one that I shortened? Wasn't that one? Oh, was this one. Okay, well, just drop it a little bit. There we go. Hide again. Right. Play. The picture must have been taken already. Scanner is spinning up. And I can walk back now, because I know it's not going to capture me, but you see it's fast, so <laughs> you have to be fast when you're doing this. All right, looks like the scan actually succeeded again. Registration was successful. Let's go. Let's 
let's do another scan here. Again, somewhat level. Yep, hide behind these trees. Hopefully. There we go. You can time the pictures because you can hear the pictures being taken. And then obviously you can outrun the scanner when it's actually scanning. There's an audible chirp from the picture, but when it's windy, like today, it's not very easy to hear. All right, we got a scan finished. I'm going to do one more scan here, and then we'll do a scan uh, this way. I think the leg is correct, meaning... Yep. All right, let's hide behind the trailer here. All right, I heard the chirp on the camera. So I know I can get next to the scanner. And so far, didn't have to do any, make any adjustments on the actual scans. And even now, it still looks like it's working, so... Usually... The workflow isn't as smooth as it is today, but hey, sometimes... Maybe I'll go this way just so that we get the side of the building here. Level... not good. So let me erase this leg here. And again, I... it doesn't have to be perfect, but if I have some control over my setups, I like to make sure that it's as nice as possible. I could still use the built-in inclinometer. I usually just look at the physical bubble on the tripod. All right. Eight seconds. And we're done. Looks like it went into the right spot. And I did a shorter leg here just because I wanted to capture that corner of the building because going in front of the trucks, cars here, is obviously going to diminish the ability to actually see the wall the side of the building. So, once again, not bisecting the uh, level. Looks decent. Okay, play, hide here. So far, we've been going for, what, 10 minutes? Exactly 10 minutes. And we have scan number 12. So it's not quite two scans per minute, but close. All right. I don't know, well, I guess maybe we'll go in line with the actual sidewalk over here and the doors. Let's hide again behind something bigger. Go. The scanner is scanning. All right. Oh, it's, it's done. Does overshoot significantly in flash mode, meaning you do have to uh, be aware that it doesn't exactly stop at the 180 degree point. Oh, well, let's get... I mean, we already have that side of the building, but we'll just do a better job here. So, leveling bubble is in the circle. Play. And we're almost finished with our loop. And I recommend doing higher, longer distance resolution scans at least once through a session like this. And it could be a little bit better. You can see that it's... Oh, I can't zoom in any further. This... Oh no, it does work. Okay. So, it looks like it worked. Again, 
I will do maybe another scan here. And because I want to be finished with this, and uh, actually do what I said, we will do a scan at regular resolution. Meaning, let's go into profile. I have profile, which is a standard scan with a pano cam on it. That's exactly what I have here. So, and what's cool about this is I don't have to run until the end, of course, because the pictures with a standard scan are taken at the end of the scan. So you see the scan is now scanning, then I'll just duck behind the truck once the uh, actual scan is finished. Let's see, from the side it was able to figure it out. Height-wise, we don't really seem to be awful either. So from a registration perspective and data collection perspective, this was relatively smooth, fast. Yes, you can tell that there's definitely error. Because you see that the cars that are parked here have two rears or fronts over here. But that's well within the reason of the iPad not being able to do a great registration and it'll be something that the software better seen obviously will be able to fix for us but for now scan is about to be done so let's hide here it should show up little location should show up well i don't have a cursor to actually show but in the middle of the screen here there she is Awesome. And you see that again, misalignments, that's fully expected. You can fix this if you want. You can actually fix it here by unlocking it and say, hey, by the way, you belong slightly this way, maybe. But this is micromanaging stuff. You don't need to do this kind of stuff if uh, you hinge on the actual software that then fixes the stuff for you, which is ferocine. So I, I'm not going to do anything past this. All right, that's it. So, I am done with my loop. It took us, well, close to 15 minutes. 12, well, plus 2, so about 14 minutes uh, to finish everything. I am now going to proceed and actually download the data onto the SD card and start the processing. So, hopefully this was a, a useful demonstration of how this can all work even in a not perfect environment like we have today.